Hello there, this is Mike Graham from Integrated Marketing bringing you affiliate tips educating beginners and intermediates. In the last video I was talking about what you need to do to start up and today I want to talk a bit more about starting up your own business in affiliate marketing and you may remember I was talking about getting yourself a niche you wish to operate in and drilling down and finding a sub niche and even choosing a product you feel like um, marketing. Now these are products somebody else has made or another company has made. You're just going to be signing up to be an affiliate in which case you're going to be receiving a certain amount of commissions on each product you sell. And then you want to get yourself a domain name which reflects the sort of business you're in or you just use your name and this is the the piece of uh, script that has .com after it. So it is quite important as that's the bit that people are going to remember. Um, then you get yourself domain name hosting, which can be done on a number of hosting sites, some of which are very good, some of which aren't so very good. Um, and obviously people have their own recommendations for what is good and what isn't. Um, and then you want to find yourself an autoresponder. The may through which you can send out emails to people on a daily basis because the meat of your business is going to be email marketing. You, The process is like this, you get somebody to sign up to be on your mailing list by offering them a free product, a lead magnet. And once you have captured their name, the name gets stored in the autoresponder and then you start sending daily emails to their address through your autoresponder. And autoresponders are things like GetResponse, Aweber, MailChimp, SendLane, to name but four. Um, at the moment, uh, I think probably Aweber is the one people like the best. But that's just my own personal viewing on the subject. Um, and thereafter, you're going to have to, obviously, as I mentioned, when you're getting people to opt in, you have to have a, something called a squeeze page or an opt-in page that people can opt in on. Now, it's quite likely that you've opted in onto people's sites, onto their mailing lists often enough, and you know exactly what a squeeze page or opt-in page looks like. It's the page with a bit of fancy photography on it, and some words in a box which are enticing you to get the amazing free product offered which is called a lead magnet and this is the bait by which you get people to come and sign on to your subscription list. So first of all in order to create an opt-in page you need a page builder. Now you can do this on a site like ClickFunnels which is quite famous and it's easy to use or there's a page builder like InstaBuilder, um, Builderall, Frontio. Um, you don't have to have too many, you just have to have one that's able to build you a basic squeeze page and the next page which is called a thank you page or bridge page which is another important page. And this is a two page funnel, it's called an opt-in funnel and it's very vital to the well-being of your business because this is going to be the one that does the work, the one that people see when they discover they want to have whatever it is you're offering. So there are tutorials on how to build an opt-in page, but also if once you have one of these page builders, um, the instructions would be in there as to how to build a decent opt-in page. And to do this, you have to be able to just move a few um, pieces around, um, a few elements, um, so that you build a basic box with a with a place where people put their emails, and then a button below that which says submit um, a free product, and that'll tie you into receiving the free product you're offering. Tied it the subscriber into that while the captured email address goes into your autoresponder and they then go 
to go to the thank you page, which is also known as the bridge page, which you can use to say thank you. You can use it as a page which gives the link for them to download the free product that you've offered them. Um, and just as importantly, you can give them a secondary piece of free information, free education, which is traditionally most usually done using a video. Um, it could be a so like five, ten minute video, and you'd say before, before you receive your free product, please listen to the video below in which I tell you about such and such. And you then give them the important piece of education, but this piece of education is going to lead on to you making an initial offer to them. At the front end of the free of the affiliate product line that you're promoting. Now, in case you haven't taken that all in, once you're involved in affiliate marketing, this is stuff you're going to be hearing about day in, day out. So don't worry if none of it or little of it makes complete logical sense yet if you're hearing this for the first time. If you're not, then you know perfectly well what I mean. But the order of play is that you have a lead magnet made, which is a piece of um, content, content, educational, um, that you're offering them, which advances a potential subscriber's knowledge and understanding of the subject which he's drawn to, and also reflects something about the product line that you're selling um, that can be downloaded. It's going to be uh, traditionally either a PDF, which is an ebook, or a video, or sometimes even a piece of audio, or a blog post, you know, just something you've written on a blog which is essential to people to find out about if they're interested in X, Y, or Z. Now, what I just mentioned very quickly there on in passing was that the free product has to have something to do with the affiliate product line. And I don't want to go into this in too much depth, but this concept is called congruency, whereby you're not trying to sell people products in the weight loss niche, but as your front end offering, as your free product rather, offering them um, free tips on how to manage your new dog or how to cope with cats. You know, it's just ludicrous. Again, you have to tell them something about how they're going to manage their weight control. Anyway, that's just a, a very quick synopsis of what you need. And I did want to also include in this video other things you might need because they're more on the psychological, emotional level. You're going to have to learn how to work quite hard, long hours, on your own and not worry about it because that's also something you need plenty of, which is stamina and being quite happy to work on your own without too many other people around, around because it is quite quite a lonely journey in its own way, um, so consider that. But all the previous things I've mentioned are the practical things you need in order to get your business off the ground. Um, so anyway, good luck with that and have a nice journey, have a nice day. If you like this video, please give me a like. If you want to subscribe to my videos, then hit the subscribe button, leave a comment and Hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. But anyway, thank you for your attention. I hope this makes things clearer for you and helps you along in your journey. Thank you.